Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the chairman and CEO of Raytheon Company, Dr. Thomas Kennedy. Good evening. On behalf of the Bayer Alumni Association, it is my honor to welcome you to one of the high points of the 2018 Bayer STEM Conference, the Stars and Stripes Dinner. Actually, it's my favorite venue of the Bayer Conference. This is the 13th anniversary of this prestigious dinner, but Bayer's deep ties to the military go back to the inception of this conference more than 30 years ago. And as you know, each year a different service is featured at the Stars and Stripe Dinner. Tonight, we're proud to salute the United States Army, the largest military branch in the United States, and the best army in the world. I want to thank the active and the retired members of all of our military branches who are here tonight, as well as those who are protecting our freedoms abroad. I'd like to thank you most sincerely for your leadership, your legacy, and above all, your service to our great nation. Thank you. And speaking of leadership, your contributions to the STEM fields have never been more important than it is today. As a veteran myself, I can attest to the significance of STEM in the armed services. It opened my eyes and it transformed my life, just as it has for most of you in this room tonight. As a result of my service, I was able to complete my PhD in engineering at UCLA. The combination of leadership experience and the STEM exposure I received by my service and through my service set me on a course for a very rewarding career. Our armed services, including the Army Educational Outreach Program, continue to play a major role in building our STEM workforce. At any time in our history, and I would say more than ever, we need a strong STEM workforce. Our nation's security and our defense depend on it. In fact, this critical need was highlighted again just last month when Secretary Mattis released the National Defense Strategy. The strategy calls for urgent change at a significant scale to contend with the challenges to the United States military's advantage. And a key to its success is a motivated, diverse, and highly skilled STEM workforce, one that is modernizing and developing the sophisticated capabilities our nation needs to sharpen our military's competitive edge. Now these include exciting technologies like advanced computing, big data analytics, artificial intelligence, autonomy, robotics, directed energy, hypersonics, and biotechnology. That is why early on our military actively engages, as it does tonight and as it's done today, young students in programs that highlight the excitement of STEM discovery and continues to reinforce these experiences as students grow. Likewise, the significance of STEM field impacts the quality of life of every American and drives my passion for continuing to support programs that benefit veterans, military families, and STEM-focused educational initiatives that fuel diversity. As the head of a global defense technology and innovation company, the Raytheon Corporation, I and my company are committed to strengthening our connections to proactive and like-minded organizations like Bayon. Thank you all for continuing to empower our great nation. Have a great evening. Thank you.